So I want to make a video game, but I also found out that I don't know how to make video games. So I realized that I should learn how to make video games. So as any would-be researcher would do, I googled up how to make video games and then made it easy for myself by just typing that into YouTube directly. And I decided to go with Unity because apparently this was the most used in terms of independent creators and devs. So I set myself up for a 30-day challenge of learning how to build a video game from scratch. And this is kind of how it went. So with the decision of starting with Unity, I had to learn C Sharp because that's the language that it works with. So I went to this website called Codecademy and I learned C Sharp there and eventually I was able to do stuff like this. Cool. So I took their seven day free trial and not pay for anything because I'm a cheap bastard. I already had a bit of pro background in programming so all I needed was a refresher. So I went through stuff like this and I actually I highly recommend their learning platform. I think it's easier than watching a video and trying to replicate everything. So after about a week I was literate in C Sharp. And the next thing I did was watch a Brackets video on how to program your first game on Unity. So he showed me how to set up cubes and put it on a plane or a box thingy and create more boxes and boohoo what you do here here we got a game i think a few boxes fell don't mind that i think it's just slipping away god damn this is hard all right let me show you so i basically have to dodge <laughs> it's sliding everywhere okay oh i didn't intend for that one hold up dude it's actually legitimately fun oh i made it yeah hell yeah all right no <laughs> i made it too slippery if i can all right Whoa, no 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 come on Home stretch here, home stretch, hell yeah, hell yeah, level complete, that's right. So that was oddly satisfying. And after that, I was even more confused than I was before. So I went to, uh, to the next best thing, which is premium content. Because as much as free stuff online and on YouTube goes, you actually end up doing more work trying to organize everything, all that information. So I went to Udemy, so I found these guys and during the first week, I got to build my first ever terminal game. Just a text-based ask and answer type of game. And it looks like this. So it gives gives me like a jumbled anagram. So I'm supposed to guess what it is. Cool. And then after that, I decided to build a rocket. Well, they actually told me a little bit of the rocket. And uh, I try to make it go up instead of um, going around like what it's doing right now. I, I assume Elon Musk had the very same problem first starting to build SpaceX. And then I put a platform and somehow it, it doesn't go up. It just spins around now. And it slides around like a little worm and... Uh, <laughs> I feel like if I put more effort into it, it's probably... Oh god, it's coming at me! So I built another platform and basically fixed that bug. And eventually I got it to fly up a little bit more stably. And then I, I try to make it land stably as well. And now I can also move to another platform stably. And then I built a challenge around it and, made, and pimped things up around. So I put like different colors and also made the top of the cone of the rocket blue because I don't know, it looked like a phallus before, but it was way too hard. It was kind of boring. So I made a bunch of them and then see what happens if I just let them go. <laughs> and then I put on some sound in there just to, you know, get the immersion out and maybe a little particle effects. But I didn't know how to tweak that to make it actually look like a rocket thruster. Now it just looks like it's farting. Oh, look at that. Explosions. Also success noises. So after that, my next task was to build a rail shooter on an asteroid. So I put this terrain, laid it out, splat dab right there. Made it look more terrainy with the terrain tool. Unity is awesome. So I try to build mountains and then bada bing, bada boom. Put a little wax, put a little skybox on there. Put some paint jobs on that. Now we got an alien world. And then I put a plane and made it fly around, put like a path on there for it to follow. And then I tried to make it do more clever and cool things. And I thought this was pretty cool, but I doubt they did this in Star Wars. But then I wanted to make it go pew pew, so I add some bullets in there. And then finally I put some music, put some enemies, it doesn't move yet. I put some explosions in there, make it all, all epic. I even put a score counter at the lower left corner. And then boom bada bing bada boom, we got a game. And it makes stuff go boom. And it even dies too when you mess up and hit something. Now I wanted to make the 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 enemies go swoosh and zoom. But that was way too much work and it required a lot of animation. Which is kind of like a different thing in and of itself. And that's how I learned to build a game from scratch in 30 days. If you like my programming and game development journey. Be sure to hit like, subscribe and ring that notification bell. Ding-a-ling. And also learn how to make a game from scratch.